that is the Rambo. We have had that boat since 1999. It's made over 60 trips to the Bahamas. It's been sunk twice and it is a beast. And I'm so excited to be rebuilding it. JD over here, AKA Jesus, is a special specialist at rebuilding stuff, whether it's boats or buggies or airboats or whatnot. This guy is pretty legit. All right, guys, this is my first time doing this with the video camera, but uh, we just got the boat in for Rob and uh, check it out here. Basically, what we're gonna start doing today is we're gonna get that floor and get that center console cut out of there and get the fuel tank going. As you can see, we got some water floating in there. You can see one of the issues right here was there's a corroded hole in the top of the tank. Also, the boat was actually holding about eight inches of water down inside the actual hole. A lot of work needs to be done. All right, so we started getting the tank up, basically a homemade little jig here. And you can see that it's sitting down in a foam bed that we're gonna have to clean out. This tank is pretty bad off. It's corroded everywhere. As you can see, that's all fuel leaking into the inside of the hole. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and clean all this foam out and figure out why the hole isn't draining over here and over there. Well, we made a little headway on the boat here. We got the floor cut out and found some delaminated stringers that we're gonna have to fix down the side. Both sides uh, seem to be clogged. We're gonna have to get that cleaned out and unclog those. And going forward, we're gonna put in a, uh, an access point so that if it happens again, it can be cleaned out. Sand in time. About an hour in. We're getting somewhere. Upon inspection, when we cut the floor out, we noticed that there we have some rot and we have some delamination of some uh, stringers. As you can see, we're delaminating. Either we hit something hard and kind of crack this stringer up, and then just from it bowing, getting water in here, just from it bowing, has caused, caused it to lift. We call that delamination. You can see that the glass that they laid down stopped sticking. A lot of body work has to be done on this boat. There's a front piece of the floor up there that's about to go in. Good, meeting the hamburger. What's going on, man? What's up, brother? Here to check out the boat? That's yeah. Pretty beach, huh? Get that at my face. Some people just aren't photogenic. I know when I'm down by the bird. Mm, right there. I think she's about perfect, y'all. Outside's completely flat again. 
Got the inside all knocked down. All right, you guys, so we've got the trailer. There it is, and that's Johnny Brig. Lots going on, a lot of moving parts to make this right, but these guys have been on it every step of the way. Lay the white down. All right, so the shop's a mess trying to finish up this boat for Rob. We Right now, we have got the outside mast on, so as you can see, she's painted, looking pretty. Got the inside all white, got it all scuffed up. Got that console in there taped off, and it's painted to match the outside of the boat. Rub rail was put on yesterday. Now we're about to add the Raptor liner on the whole inside. We've also got the uh, T-top here. Got it all done in matte black textured powder coat. It's gonna look like a brand new boat. Johnny, who was the last one to mess with the, uh, be Jesus. Jesus? Yes. Jesus! It was getting some string off of your chop gun. Fiberglass woven. Whatever. Apparently now, the fan decided it liked it. The fan just decided it was hungry. Hey Mikey! It's raining out there! We done! Finishing touches, putting on the canvas. All right, you guys. On a level of one to 10, I'm about a 36. I am so excited right now, I cannot express it to you. What you think, Roberto? Attack dog. Look at that. Are you freaking kidding? You got the camera rolling. Absolutely, man. Holy macaroni. Johnny Briggs. Big man. What's going on, brother? Dude, I could not possibly That's hate. my father, A.W. A.W. How are you? Good. Holy cow. I have never been so excited in my whole life. Honest to God, this is the most excited I've ever been for any physical possession in my whole life. I've had this boat, no joke, since like 1999. I've almost died on it several times. Dustin Uhaws, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Brent Leslie, you were on one of those trips. This boat never let me down. I had the option, junk it or freaking go all out. And you guys, I owe you a lot more than money. Oh gosh, are you stinking kidding me? You guys, they did the rafter liner, all the powder coating, uh, all the painting. All in house. You do all that here. So, but this boat has more sentimental value to me than you could ever imagine. Like this boat is where I grew up. This is where I cut my teeth guiding. This is what I got my captain's license on running this boat. And now to make a living on YouTube and have this op opportunity and to see it come back to life and look better. This boat did not look this nice when it was brand spanking new. I want to personally thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you very Mike, much. thank you. John, thank you Sorry, very pleasure. much. If you guys, whether you're having a T-top rebuilt, whether you just need all the hardware fixed, or whether you want to do a fuel tank, a new deck, paint job. Or a complete rebuild. Or a complete rebuild, Pattern yeah. Coating, painting, yeah. anything you need. 
it's hard to find reputable work where someone says, we're gonna do this, and you get there and that plus is done. I cannot give you guys a higher recommendation. I showed up here, they promised me, they told me, we're not sending you pictures, we're just gonna do the work and you show up. So I've been, look at my fingernails, I have no fingernails because I've chewed them all off. The boat exceeds my wildest imagination. And I thank you very Glad much, you guys. Me. Fantastic. Karma Customs, it. you guys, I guarantee you, they're Deer Meat approved. Mike, <laughs> thank you. Big sex, man. Always. You guys rock. Incredible. Words just can't express how happy I am. Now I'm gonna take it down to Outboard Specialties, have a brand new 300 Suzuki put on it, and then we will be fishing a lot. So that's all I got to say for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy watching our family and our channel and our brand grow and blossom. The only reason it's blossomed is because you guys have, have helped us by sharing our, our videos and telling your friends about it and subscribing and leaving epic comments and thumbs up. So for that, I wanna tell you thank you very much. That's all I got for you today. Stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more. But for now, we go.